start Agile right. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul Heidema, and I help teach, educate, and transform around agile, change, around organizational culture. The first step in doing agile right is to identify a vision. Where are you now? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be to grow up? What does success look like in the long term? Once you have that vision, it's critical that you communicate and have discussions around that vision with your teams, your staff, your management as a collective to understand challenges and identify potential gains from doing this vision and to get everybody on board. The more people that are on board and excited about it, the more likely you'll achieve this vision. One point to pay attention to is that Agile should not be the vision. Agile is not the goal. Agile is not the place to be. Agile is a potential means through ways of thinking, being, doing to achieve the vision. Agile is not the goal. The second step in starting Agile right is to identify and come up with your outcomes. You have a vision. You have an idea of where you want to go and what it will look like. What outcomes do you want to achieve along the way to know that you're actually achieving and hitting that vision. Again, communication is key. Have lots of conversations. Set up opportunities with the challenge what those outcomes are and if they are worth achieving. Once you have that in mind, then you can continue on in building out your plan and hitting your vision. The third step in starting Agile Right is to understand and review what Agile actually is. There are plenty of misconceptions and myths and misunderstandings of what Agile is. But basically, it comes down to two things. It is around the being and the doing. It is around how you think, values that you hold, how you contemplate and pay attention to, how you show up, is just as important as the doing, the practices, the tools, the interactions. Often, when Agile is done, it is done for the wrong reasons. It is done because some other organization is doing it, or because it's popular. And that's fine, but usually you'll get very low value and not achieve your goals and your vision. Instead, really review and understand what it means. Have a discussion around the mindset, things like collaboration, empowerment, unity. Have a discussion around the values and the principles of the Agile Manifesto. Why did these individuals get together? can come up with this manifesto to describe how we could think through problems in a more collaborative, empowering, supportive, encouraging way. Then have a discussion around the practices, the tools, the frameworks, things like Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, Open Agile, and many others. Then you'll be able to have better outcomes. Actually, we offer certified Agile training. The being and the doing. Mindset, values, principles, practice, how it all fits together. Link in the description. We'd love for you to join us. Now back to the video. The fourth step in starting Agile right is all about setting an achievable goal. Making sure that your vision, your outcomes, and how Agile will help you get there can hit an achievable, short-term, and effective, powerful goal. This goal is to be something tangible, something that people can get behind, something that excites you and energizes you and can lead you to the future of your bigger outcomes and that potential large-scale vision. Do that and you'll get, you'll build buy-in, you'll get more conversation started, more discussion, you'll bring more energy to it, and hopefully also more people interested in participating in what you're doing. The fifth step and starting Agile Right is to actually have a small group of contributors, participants, individuals that will work together to solve the outcomes, the goals, the vision, and understand Agile and use it well. These individuals need to be T-shaped. They need to have depth in one area, but broad understanding of skills across many. 
and they need to be cross-functional. They need to be committed. They need to be passionate. And they need to actually want to achieve your goal, your vision, their vision, their goal. It goes from you and I to us to we. The sixth step to starting Agile right, and which is foundational to all the other steps, is to have a culture of learning. An environment, a space, a team, a company, an organization, an office, an apartment, any of these things will do if it is focused on learning. That means that when something happens, we have, we have an idea, if something happens, we take an action. From that action, we ask questions. Did it work? Well, could we do it better? We have passion about it. We have new ideas, and we cyclical through that. This learning process, this cyclical repeating, adapt and improve model, right, is really key to this whole agile process, agile mindset, the whole experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your comments and questions below. And if you found it interesting and useful, give it a like. Maybe even share it with your friends or subscribe. That'd be wonderful. Looking forward to the next video. Continue being agile. Keep learning. Thank you.